Yo, what's up guys, it's me Halfbaked, and today I am bringing you an upgraded version of the last ad bot. It is, um, 100% less <laughs> likely to be kicked by the owner or admins of the server. Okay, so before I, like, talk about to give you all the links and, like, show you how to do it, I'm going to show you what it does. So I already made a bot user and stuff and put it online. I'll show you how to do that too. And as you can see, I named it Spambot. And this is what Spambot does. So when you type spam in chat, It'll um, start spamming every user in the server, whatever message you had preset it to spam. I think uh, I have some kind of like test message set up or something <laughs> because I didn't, I don't have a serve uh, something to spam in here. And I had to give um, free app to help me with this video because he joined the server so that I could transfer ownership to him because it skips over owners and people with admin perms. So, it will not DM them if they are owners or admin perms. So, uh, let's just go ahead. All you gotta do is write spam. So, yeah. And anybody can do this. So spam. And there we go. As you can see, the bot is starting to message me already. Um, and see, this is my message. Yeah, that was my test message. And, um, that's what you're gonna get whenever you see the file and stuff that I give you. So as you can see, it, it'll like send four messages, then send four messages to the next person and to the next person. But it see, it sends four, then it scans for another person, and it doesn't find any others, and it finds me again. So it decides to go ahead and spam me four or more plus times. So, uh, okay, so now I think it's about time to get into showing you how to get this bot. Okay, so let me go ahead and close up this and. Okay, so, um, first thing you're going to want to do is go and open your file folder, like I already have it open, and then create a new folder that your bot is going to be in. Name it whatever you want, but I'm going to name mine spam bot, so it's, like, easy to tell apart from the others. Uh, okay, I'll just name it new folder. <laughs> I'll name it new folder. Okay, so, then you want to go and join my Discord. The link will be in the description. Go to hashtag files and download bot dot js and tokens dot js both of those files in hashtag files in my discord okay so after you download that you're gonna want to put bot dot js into new folder and tokens dot js you're gonna want to put them into whatever folder you're doing your bot in uh, so then everything's organized and make sure your bot folder is on your desktop for easy access mine's close to my desktop so it'll be fine Okay, so next thing you want to do is go to node.org and download, you can download any version that you want of Node, and after it has completely finished downloading, X out the web page, okay, no, and then you um, shift, right click, open command prompt window here, you write npm install to middle line thingies <laughs> init discord.js so now it's trying to recognize my command and it's installing it because it already has recognized it and my package is done and it's in it see as you can see now there if you did everything right there should be a folder named node modules in it and a file named package lock.json okay so next before you edit it I mean you can use any um editor that you want for like text editor for what message you want to send users but I recommend notepad plus plus the link will also be in the description and the link for the node website will be in the description and download this one it says notepad plus plus installer 64 take this one if you have no idea which one to take and I took that one and it works perfect and now for actually making your bot so you're gonna oh I still have my spam bot open so I'm gonna go ahead and delete it here we go and new app I'm gonna name it spam bot and, and you can pick an icon I already have an icon in pics that I found really good off the web I just searched um, spam bot icon or something like that um, what was it called I think it's spam dot something. There it is. Yeah, spam dot jpg. That's what I need in mind. 
Uh, and now that I have everything done, I have the name that I want, and I have my icon, I'm going to hit create app. Okay, so now it might take a little while to build the app. It usually takes a while. But, oh, uh, still building it. I'm going to go ahead and pause the video until it finishes building the app. Okay, so I got the success message. Is the app finished building? Perfect. And, okay, so there's a few things you still want to do while you're on this web page. Please do not close it yet. So, uh, client ID is important for if the generate OAuth 2 URL doesn't work. And I will post, um, the correct URL in the description for, like, if you don't, for if the generate OAuth 2 doesn't work after I show you what it does. Okay, so yeah, you hit create bot user, okay. You can go ahead and check it off as public bot if you want. Whoop. And save changes there we go now everything's saved now you're going to want to generate OS2 URL and uh, it doesn't actually have to have any permissions but if you want it to you can go ahead and give it administrator and then hit copy and open a new tab paste it in there and then uh, once the tab loads which your Wi-Fi is probably better than mine so uh, not saying it is just might be because mine is bad uh, then you're gonna want to add it to your server. Which one's mine? Mine was called. This is the one I wanted to add it to. Uh, YouTube. Bit. There you go. Uh, sorry about that. I can't seem to find it. Uh, let me pause the video until I can find it. Oh, okay, so this is why I couldn't find the server. It's because I gave him owner free app. I'm gonna go ahead and D I'm gonna DM him the thing. I bet all y'all know how to add bots to your server. I just copied the link and pasted it into his thing. And I'm telling him to add it. And then whenever he adds the bot, uh, then we can go ahead and, uh, Sorry about that. Uh, maybe I should have got that through to him better. So, he's about to add it to the server, so we should see it popping in at any moment. But while we're waiting, I'll show you how to do it for those who this didn't work yet with. So, I'm going to go ahead, copy, this into tab, X. Okay, so, there we go. There, this is the initial thing that'll be in the description that you need. Cut and oh he just added it see and then you find your client ID because it says right here client ID equals and then since I deleted the ID you're gonna have to go ahead and get your bot ID uh, client C client ID once you copy it and paste it in there if you if that generate thing doesn't work only do this if the generate thing doesn't work because that'll this is actually a lot harder Okay, so, uh, we don't need that, because he already added our bot to the server, thank you, and we're gonna go ahead and, if you've downloaded Notepad, I edited stuff with Notepad, because it's easier, go ahead and open it in your editor, and right here it'll say, this is my message below, is the message that it will DM to everyone, so, you can delete, this is my message, leave those quotes do not erase these two quotes right here or your thing will not work so uh what we want it to send we can do sub to uh and then my link https and youtube.com slash c slash slash epic give me 15. Here we go. That is my YouTube link, and it'll DM that to everybody in the server, which is just me right now. So, it, only I'm in the server, and I'm going to save it. Then, whenever you save it, now, you have your message. You have everything you need. All you need to do is launch your bot. So, you're going to go ahead, shift, right-click, uh, open with command prompt. Well, it closed again. I'm just gonna try and open it. Oh, 
There we go. Open command prompt window here. Then you write node bot dot js. Now, it, give me a second. I got some error code here. Incorrect login details were provided. What? Uh, line 47 and 41 on something. Let's open back up our bot file. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, guys. I needed to give, you need to use your token. The whole bot won't work if you don't have it. You, so go back onto your dev page. Go back to your thing. Scroll down until it says token. Click, click to the, uh, click to reveal. Copy it and in tokens, edit with Notepad plus plus. As you can see, there's an example token right here already. You can just go ahead and copy that, delete it, and paste your token in there, and then save it. And now it'll work. Curdle C. If you type Curdle C, it'll um like restart the thing, close down your bot, and stuff like that. Now you type nodebot.js and spam bot is online. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and type spam. Here we go, and he's DMing me, as you can see. Um, sub to half big game, sub to half big game. Yeah, see. <laughs> now you're getting spawned, spammed. It'll send it to everybody in the server that doesn't have administrator, as I've said before. So, uh, anyways. Dang. Okay, so it just cut me out like two seconds before I was going to end the video. So yeah, stupid Bandicam. Sorry guys, I hate Bandicam. If I, if OBS would work on here, I would definitely use it. So anyways, all I wanted to say was if you want to turn off your bot, just type curl C and it'll turn off. And then that's about it. And all you need to do to get it to, into people's servers, I don't think it needs admin. Um, perms to spam people. So, you, so whenever you're generating an URL, you, all you have to do is change the the ID, because as you can see, permissions equals, I'll try and show you, permissions equals zero, eight is administrator, but you can just change that to zero if you like, and then people would feel, feel more comfortable with adding the bot in, <laughs> just to get spammed. Okay, so, thank you for watching this tutorial, and with that, I'm just going to say peace out.